Doctor Who Hides, the ninth episode of Series 7, is written by Neil Cross and starring Matt Smith and Jenna Coleman. As I've mentioned in my Rings of Akerton retrospective that Neil Cross is a fan of the show, he didn't have time to write an episode, Caroline Skinner invited him, Stephen Moffat was happy that he's part of the gang, and he wrote The Rings of Akerton. So Neil wanted to write a really old-fashioned scary episode of Doctor Who, especially for children 9 to 12, which is how he remembered the show at that age. He said time travelling ghosts are echoes of one another. What is a ghost, if not a fragment caught in time? He wanted the show to be suspense and tension as he felt it was more terrifying than full-on shock, horror, blood and gore. He took the inspiration from the Quatermass experiment and its sequels and he wanted the Doctor to meet Bernard Quatermass but didn't happen because of the copyright reasons. This episode was going to be a very small and restricted ghost story. Neil got asked to make it bigger in the end. Different universes there, but it was the smoke and mirrors. It was originally set in a house in daylight and in the alternate world. Neil imagined a crooked man, Stephen Moffat wanted the monster to flesh out more and Neil chose to mirror the love plot between Emma and Professor and he wanted to tell the story with a small cast and as few locations as possible. So the episode begins with Professor Palmer and Emma collecting photos of evidence of a ghost in Caliburn House. Emma's strong psychic powers gets used to create connection to bring the ghost. She often passed out, which seemed pretty painful. I love Doctor and Clara's entrance and introducing themselves as Ghostbusters. This was Jenna Coleman's first time playing Clara and she only got 5 minutes audition for Asylum of the Daleks where she played as Splinter Oswin Oswald. Doug Ray Scott played Alec Palmer who's a ghost hunter and was supposed to be Bernard Quatermass as I've already mentioned. He's brilliant in this. Jessica Rain played Emma Grayland, Alex's assistant, and has psychic abilities. She's brilliant as well. She works with Matt Smith before on a play. Jessica later played Verity Lambert in Adventure in Space and Time. The Doctor examines the stuff they have, including photographs. Emma getting the glimpse of the ghost in the forest looks pretty effective. It shows the TARDIS doesn't like Clara. <laughs> Oh dear. I love the bit where the Doctor jumps into that orange suit he wore as David Tennant back in the Impossible Planet and the Satan Pit story. He goes outside to Volcano Area taking a few pictures and doing the same with Tropical Jungle with Giant Blue Dragonfly and Victorian Era. Then Doctor and Clara return, suspecting that Caliburn Ghost is a time traveller and called Hiller Takurian who's trapped in the Pocket Universe. I like the bit where the Doctor used that crystal from Metabilis 3 that John Pertwee uses. The crystal helps open the portal, which is hurting Emma pretty bad. I am the Doctor. And I am afraid. The Doctor goes inside the forest, taking his bow tie off. Hiller is rescued, but the Doctor got trapped and Emma is hurt very badly. Kemi Bo Jacobs played Hiller Takurian, who's a time traveller, and supposed to be the great, 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 great granddaughter of Emma and Professor Palmer. Wow. She is great as well. Crooked man, a creature in universe is pretty terrifying. So after Clara's brief argument with the TARDIS, the Doctor is rescued. In the morning, the Doctor reveals that he's there to see Emma, not the ghost. Professor and Emma are in love. The clip reveals how Clara rescued the Doctor. This is a pretty scary episode. What did you think of Hyde? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.